Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Every so often, I revisit this topic because it uh, tends to be quite popular. It deals with troubleshooting, um, configuring, and learning about Wi-Fi from your Windows computer and your Wi-Fi adapter and obviously your Wi-Fi networks. So all I'm going to do is go to the command prompt and, and show you a few commands. They're NetSH WLAN commands. This is using Windows 10. It works with Windows 8, works with Windows 7, works with Windows 11. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They, all these commands work. And this is just a regular command prompt. It's not, um, not in as administrator or anything like that. So the first one I want to show you is NetSH WLAN show. Now, that's going to give me a list of all the commands I can use, right? So I'm not going to go through them all, obviously, but that's good to know. The second one is the word all. Okay, so all is going to show you the complete wireless device and network information, and that's pretty neat. And there it all goes, and it flew by so fast, obviously. So for the people that want to look at this with a little bit more detail, you can always do greater than and then give it a name. We'll call it Tony.txt. Okay, and then if I was to type Tony.txt, and now I've got a text file with all that output that I can scroll through. And why that's really important is because it shows you the commands, right? So if I wanted to show interface stuff, I would do NetSH WLAN show interfaces, and it would only show me this, right? And I don't have to worry about all that gobbledygook. For the people who know a little bit about Windows Command Prompt, you can uh, do a, you know, a pipe to find STR or find, and you can pull stuff out. You can put in a text file, write a script, you can do whatever you want. Okay, have a lot of fun with that one. Now the other one is the net sh wlan show networks now this is live what it hears on your actual network it's not going to kick you off or disconnect you it's just telling you what it heard so you can see there's four networks within earshot now the reason why that's helpful is obviously you want to make sure somebody's connecting it to an actual ssid that exists right or if a rogue one appeared this would actually show you that Obviously, if somebody has a rogue access point or an SSID and it's not broadcasting, i.e. it's hidden, you won't see that, right? But what's really important to know is that the next thing people ask about is, okay, so this network 5 gigahertz or 24 gigahertz, um, and what's the signal strength? That kind of stuff. Well, if you were to type show networks mode equals BSSID, and I'll put all these commands in, in the actual article, You'll see the same stuff appears, but now it gives you more information. So, for example, 5 gigahertz, that's the name of the network, the SSID, has two access points, one and two. See that? And now I can find out the signal strength for each one. Now, I know this is not an RSSI that some people like to see, but it's better than nothing, right? So at least you get a signal strength. You know how far away it is. You know what uh, MAC addresses are on those APs. And you can do some, I'm going to say some pretty good troubleshooting just with that information alone. And again, that's live, right? That's live on the air. So now what we're going to do is go back to show profiles. Now the show profile command. Oops, I thought I copied that. Now it tries again. Paste, there you go. And this is a list of all the ones I'm configured for, obviously. So this is not what's live so obviously there's a lot of stuff configured and obviously there's fewer things that I heard over the air so this is what my machines configuration looks like and every profile usually correlates with an SSID what people want to know is hey I want to know something about that profile that I configured so I can redo that configuration on my replacement laptop or or whatever so if you were to just simply type show WLAN, I'm sorry, NetSH WLAN show profile name equals Lakeside 5, for example. That's uh, this one right here. When you hit enter, it will actually give you more information about that configuration, which is good to know. The big question, and I ran into this last week, is the question is, hey, what about that uh, WPA2 key? Obviously, this is for networks that use WPA or WPA2. Uh, this will work, right? And it's simply you add key equals clear at the end of the command. And when you do that, it will display all the same kind of stuff, but it will actually show you the key content. That is the actual WPA2 key for that profile or SSID, right? Because usually they're the same thing. And you're good to go. Now, just as a bonus, if you can get to the command line uh, as an administrator, there's an additional command you can type 
and it's NetSHW LAN show YLAN report. I want to show you what that looks like. It's really slick, right? So let me drag over my web browser. There it is. Okay. And you can see in the web browser, it gives you this really cool looking HTML report. And it shows you a ton of stuff, more so than that uh, show all command that I showed you a while ago. So if you want to do some some um, digging in, if you want to you know get some more information, this is a great way to start. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.